What's up, guys? It's Spiderbot here for Next Gen Tactics. I want to talk a little bit about the current status of Call of Duty and uh, the future. Where is it going? What's uh, what's going on? And I'm going to link you to a few articles, and we're going to talk talk about a couple things, including uh, COD Elite, Elite 2.0, Black Ops 2, that sort of thing. But uh, the link uh, here's the Actually, one interesting thing, I'm going to link you to this article first, and it really doesn't have much to do with the future, but, or maybe it does, who knows. Um, I was uh, I was looking at uh, MP First, and they, they actually are a pretty uh, decent uh, site for coming out with the latest and greatest news, and I've been following them for some time, and I've linked to a few of their articles, and uh, they posted an article yesterday about uh, going into Call of Duty Elite, Elite TV, and how there's a section for theater staff picks. I, I don't understand how this would be under theater. And, and maybe this isn't true, because these are the only guys that have actually reported on it. But uh, supposedly there were there were there there was a video uh, tagged as a staff pick called Final War Aryan Pride. And it was completely racist. Like, it was like featured images, uh, according to the article. And I couldn't, I by the time I uh, saw the article and went on there, I couldn't see it, but... Uh, whatever, maybe it's not, I, I don't know, I assume they, they got the images on this uh, article link, anyways, but uh, yeah, featured images of Hitler, the KKK, other symbols of hate, and it was under a staff pick, are you freaking kidding me? I don't know how that's possible, I don't even think it had any gameplay, but uh, yeah, it was there. Anyways, so uh, the second article I want to link you to is uh, entitled, Analyst Says Call of Duty Isn't Selling Well in the Long Term. And it's an analyst with uh, Piper Jaffrey. Jeffrey? Piper Jeffrey? Um, so he's stating that uh, the game, he believes the game isn't performing as well as past titles. As far as, you know, you have that initial push of sales when the game first comes out and, and you know, the holidays and those first couple months, but then the sales trail off, right? Well, I think they're starting, and, and that's the, the whole point of the um, the article here is that those those sales are trailing off a lot quicker than they did for let's say black ops so where you have that big influx if you're looking at it on a graph it goes way up and it starts trailing off and that tail becomes smaller and smaller the further into the future you go so that tail has become a lot smaller uh, per se for modern warfare 3 than it has for previous Call of Duty titles, and that may entail the fate of this Call of Duty franchise. I mean, look at, look at for instance, and, and he actually mentions a Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero was, like, a great title. I mean, it's, they, they really went to town, they released uh, all kinds of Guitar Hero titles, and then, boom, it was done. It was gone. It was oversaturated. It was over-milked, over-produced, over-saturated, and is this... I know modern. I know Call of Duty is probably on a larger scale than um, than uh, than Guitar Hero, but hey, it's the same thing. It's looking like it's the same thing, possibly. However, however, my feeling is with Black Ops 2, and I think Black Ops 2 brings to the table much more than just a, a simple COD title. It brings zombies, and I think zombies has driven a lot, a lot of sales. Uh, from both World at War and Black Ops, and I think it will drive a lot of sales for Black Ops 2, as well as the DLC. It'll be interesting to see what kind of numbers come back from Modern Warfare 3's DLC compared to Black Ops. And I, I would almost hazard a guess that Black Ops DLC will outsell, or will maintain outselling over Modern Warfare 3 DLC, simply because of the zombies. That That's just my guess. That's my guess. But uh, Black Ops 2, again, of course they're going to do zombies. You think it would be absolutely ridiculous if they didn't do zombies. And I did a video a little while ago about uh, my requests for stuff that I would like to see in uh, Call of, in Black Ops 2 zombies. But uh, we'll see We'll see if that actually happens. Uh, I think it included a global uh, leaderboard across all maps, uh, as well as a zombie counter <laughs> and the full modding tools. Uh, but we'll see what happens. So, so that's part of the the future. Black Ops 2. The campaign is going to be great. They've always had great. You know, Treyarch I think will come out with a great campaign. The zombies will be fantastic. And let's hope that they change things around with the multiplayer. So I think 
with Black Ops 2, I, I think the opportunity is there for them. Where I think they really need to hit hard, and, I, and again, I mentioned in the previous video about uh, Sledgehammer Games and the next iteration, not this coming November 2012. November 2013 is going to be the pinnacle or the defining mark of Call of Duty. Either it's going to go into sort of a somewhat of a new direction, or it's going to end up dying off. And and that's I think that I think that title that pinnacle title will be in 2013 with probably Sledgehammer Games um, sort of at the helm, possibly. Um, so yeah, uh, the other thing, the other uh, the thing is the the Call of Duty Elite 2.0. Which uh, again I previously discussed, but one of the things that that I found interesting, and, and again I'll link you to the article. This is uh, coming from the Guardian, Guardian in the UK, and uh, they interviewed a couple of guys over at, uh, or one guy at the Beachhead, and one guy at uh, Activision. And the thing that, um, you know, I think they've done a pretty good thing with the clan ups. Once, I mean, I know it's still in progress because. Uh, they don't have... It, it's not entirely fixed. I mean, I see them getting cancelled all the time. I see the, the rewards aren't getting provided all the time. But I think it's it was a very good step. It was a very good step, and this article discusses that. Um, but the, the, the one thing that I found interesting about this article, and it was about Elite the Future, and I know they can't talk a whole lot about it. They're looking at a tablet application. Still no mention of Elite for PC, but... That uh, <laughs> is that not to be expected. But um, the one thing they talk about is, uh, and I'm just going to quote the article here, the last aspect of Elite is downloadable content. Sorry, uh, it's the two paragraphs down from there. Oh, yeah, an area of Elite called Drop Zone dissects that DLC in a useful manner for players, as Heller explains, who is uh, with Beachhead, I believe. Here we're showing an overhead map with all the spawn points located. You need to know that to be a great player, but traditionally we've never talked about it in Call of Duty, and here we're talking about clan plays. For example, if you want to play Team Defender, here's some great ways to defend the map. If you put players in these locations, you can lock the map down and have a sweeper picking up the stragglers. So now we're promoting spawn trapping. Now we're actually providing tools. This elite service is now providing tools for clans to even more effectively spawn trap players to get their MOABs, to get... Uh, everything to, to, to spawn. I don't know, man. What do you guys think about that? It really seems, you know, you're, you're, and I know players do this. I know a lot of players do this. They get uh, five players on the team for easy MOABs. They know the spawn locations and the spawn locations, they, they can, they can pigeonhole uh, an enemy team on like a game like Domination. They can pigeonhole the enemy team. It's not about objective gameplay. It's about pigeonholing the enemy team into uh, one particular spawn and trapping the, the crap out of them. And I thought that was the whole reason they were working on some of the spawn systems. I know there, there are other issues with the spawn systems, but the spawn trapping is another issue. Yet here they're actually promoting the spawn trapping and actually providing additional tools in order to do this spawn trapping with identifying every single spawn location and actually showing you where to locate your team so that you can trap them into a single spawn and destroy the crap out of them and get your precious MOABs on freaking objective games. Uh, I, I don't know. Anyways, I look, I'm not going to comment on it any more than that. I'll let you guys comment on it and uh, I'll provide some responses. What do you think about that? Honestly, I really want to know what you guys think about it. And I know teams do that. I know teams identify these areas and actually do that anyway. But this is going to another level where they're actually promoting doing that and actually providing tools for everybody to do that. And you know, is that only part of, of the actual elite premium that you have access to that they don't actually they don't actually state that um in that article if if that's the case like what a, another play just to to get people to subscribe to premium elite but it's not specified so i won't make any more comments about it. anyways let me know what you guys think about this stuff and uh we'll chat all right and what do you think about the future of of call of duty do you think i've i've 
pinpointed it with respect to the Black Ops 2, you know, the, the declining sales of Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, and the really defining point, the defining point of this series is going to be in 2013 uh, with the release of the next, presumably, Modern Warfare title uh, for Call of Duty. I don't know. Anyways, let's see what you guys think. I'm Spider, and I'm out. Hey guys, if you're still around, why not come over to youtube.com slash web of spider bite and help support me during my P90X 90 day challenge. This is a challenge I haven't worked out in like uh, <laughs> something like eight months. This is a challenge just to get in shape over the next 90 days. I'm going to be chronicling it with uh, vlogs and workout sessions over the next 90 days. So check it out. Come and help support me. And maybe I'll give you some motivation to get off your ass and do some exercise. Anyways, uh, click on the link in the description or uh, annotation, depending on where you're watching this, and um, and uh, check me, check it out, check me out, check me out, yeah, spider my out.